Hello there. Uh, I'm going to introduce a numerical methods topic, the simple fixed point iteration. So yeah, let's get started. This is a method used to find the roots of equations. So roots are simply where the function crosses the x-axis. And at that point, f of x equals 0. So the value of the function is 0. All right, moving on. The simple fixed point iteration uh, method, it's an open method, which means we may not converge. So closed methods do converge. Open methods, you are not guaranteed to converge. So for the simple fixed point iteration, what we're going to do is separate our function, f of x. We're going to separate it into two parts. All right, and why we're doing this will become clear in just a second. So then what we'll do is we'll set f of x equal to 0 and g of x equal to x. And you might be wondering, why are we doing this? Okay, so we set f of x equal to 0 because we want to find out the root where the function equals 0. And we're setting g of x equal to x. You'll see why we're doing that in just a second. So when we do set f of x equal to 0 and g of x equal to x, we can plug those values into uh, f of x equals g of x minus h of x. So then we'll get 0 equals x minus h of x. Right? And then what we're going to want to do is solve for x. And when you do that, x equals h of x, which I have written here. And h of x will be the rest of the equation. All right. That'll make a little more sense as we go through this. Okay. And the next step is to find the intersection of g of x and h of x using initial guess xi. All right, so that's just g of xi is where we will start. And we'll use this to find where g of x equals h of x. That is our ultimate goal. All right, so one thing I want to say is at this point, if you're just following a procedure, following steps, that's not what I want you to do. I want you to take a step back and avoid memorization. And the reason we want to do this is because there's some things that you can't avoid memorizing, like formulas and such, but there are some things you can understand, and understanding will hopefully make the steps a little bit easier, and the process should make a little bit more sense as you're doing this. So let's go back to the beginning. We set f of x, uh, we split it up into two parts, and we set f of x equals g of x minus h of x, and we wanted to find where f of x equals 0. And that, that happens when g of x equals h of x, because when we split our function into two parts, what happens when these values are equal? That is where f of x equals 0. And that is where we will find our root. And g of x equals h of x, that happens at the intersection. So whenever you plot g of x and h of x and you find that intersection point, that will ultimately give you your root. And that is why we're doing what we are doing. So to start this process... Hope I'm still okay, still getting in the video. All right, so how will we start this process, you might be wondering. And what you'll do is you'll start with g of xi. And xi is your initial guess. Okay, so uh, let's write that. So... What I would recommend doing is writing two columns, one with g of x equals x, which will always be the case, and then h of x equals the rest of your function. And moving down here. 
So you'll start with g, ooh, g of xi, and you will get some value. I'll just use v1, and then what you'll do is you'll plug that value into h of x. H, h of v1, which will give you a new value. And what you're going to do is plug this new value into g of x. And this will give you a new value again. And that will be plugged back into h. to give you a new value again. So basically what we're doing is we're starting with our initial guess, we're plugging into g of x, getting a result, plugging that result into h of x, plugging the result of h of x back into g of x. So you're going to keep plugging the result of one equation into the other. And let's uh, look at why we're doing this and what will happen graphically. So this is the uh, first quadrant here. And we have g of x uh, plotted below. And let's just say, uh, for example, you might have an h of x that looks something like that. This is just an example. It may not always look like this. And then let's just say you're starting with an initial guess, x i. All right. So what will happen when you continue to plug one result into the other, you'll get this spiral like motion. You'll get something like that. If it does, we are assuming that it converges and you'll get this spiral like motion right here and eventually if it converges you will approach that intersection point g of x equals h of x and you will get your root. One other thing I wanted to add before we're, we're practically done but one other important point is that when you're doing this very quickly, which often you will be on uh, exams and quizzes, you can bypass g of x. So what I mean by that is we set g of x equal to x. So anytime you have an input, your input it basically your input and your output will be equal. So when you look at this step above, I wrote v2 equals a new value, v3, but these are actually the same values. So what you can do is cross this whole thing out and just plug the result of h of x back into uh, h of x and continue and just focus on this. And you may want to include a special note when you're doing this. Uh, just leave a little... Uh, star and indicate why you're do, why you're skipping that step or um, if they don't require you to show your work then you may not even need a note but hopefully uh, that helped a lot and obviously uh, practice makes perfect so going through examples would be uh, your best bet and uh, really uh, applying this uh, process to an actual problem would be quite helpful thank you for watching